Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about version 17 deferred revenue and deferred expense creation directly from invoice itself. In version 16, we need to create the deferred revenue model and now we can directly set the deferred revenue by adding the start date and end date for deferred revenue in the invoice itself and deferred entries will be directly generated. So let me show how to configure this feature. So firstly, you need to go into accounting module. Then in configuration, let's select setting. Let's scroll down. So here you can see the default accounts. So in default account, make sure you are filling all the account details in the post deferred entries. And in general entries, you need to select on invoice or bill validation. So if you are selected manually or grouped, then you need to manually map the deferred entries in the balance sheet. So let's save the settings. So once the setting is saved, let's create new invoice. Let's add the customer, add the product. And here the price is already taken. We have already taken the start date and end date. Let's set the start date and end date. I am setting for October. Let's confirm the invoice. So once the invoice is confirmed, let's see the deferred, deferred entries are generated. So you can see for four months, the deferred entries has been generated. And this was all about the version 17 deferred entries creation from invoice itself. Thank you and stay posted for further videos.